Hello, hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to this reading. How are you doing? I really hope you're doing great. Open your mind to receive the messages for the week of July 17th to 23rd. A lot of things happening this week indeed. So let's dive in. Let's have a look what kind of general mood um, for this week you have. Okay, we have the new moon in Cancer, which will bring a lot of clarity. If there is something that is unknown, something has been hidden, this is going to surface. So prepare yourself for the truth, right? Prepare for the whatever's coming your way. Now, it's very, very busy week. Um, as, as I said, the July is going to be very, very self-driven, very passionate about certain things, what's going on. I'm not surprised we have the journey here as well. Um, well, this week is very packed with a lot of things happening. But, however, something will clear. You're moving away. You're moving away from the same or same or you, you are actually, rather than running away from something, are feeling like you're actually looking forward to this change. Number 10 is completion. And is, is it a spiritual journey? Is this a new journey with the person in your life? New work, maybe starting studies, finishing study. It feels like there's some sort of, in a way, chapter something is closing. You're leaving something behind. Whatever that is. Maybe there's some changes at work. A little bit or big or small doesn't matter. But something is kind of like a, you're turning a page for for the better. And exciting. Exciting. Aries, let's have a look. What is this week going to bring? What kind of journey? What kind of change is this? Let's start in. Wow. Victory. Some of you are going to be rewarded. Mm -hmm. Because number six is material. And number six is definitely, look at that. We have cancer here as well, chariot. Changes. Number 10 again, guys. I'm going to take this because it feels like you're going to be celebrating. And six of wands is this person's coming home from battle or war. Doesn't matter. Very, look at the person, people around is celebrating. You are in saddle. You are ready to go. I feel like there's a lot of movement happening. Either someone's getting a new car or changing a car or changing in the wheels there's some sort of movement that's happening. Perhaps um, the way you travel to work or some sort of different routes. Maybe you are mixing with different people. There is a movement. Things are changing, especially with chariot and, and the wheel of fortune, which is the very luckiest card, apart from star as well. Um, luck is on your side. You're in right time, right place. Even though you didn't feel that way, it feels that things are really landing well. Now... I have some. You have to say, some of you start starting a new journey in your career, and even if it's not visible yet, there is some. You're putting down feelers, or maybe someone is kind of. I wouldn't say watching you, but maybe kind of observing your way you're working, and perhaps you are aware of it. Maybe not. We'll have a look at that one as well. But you're setting yourself for next. What's next in your life? What's next in your life, in regards personal, professional. And you know, this is going to take some time. Well, I'm seeing, I can smell paint. Someone's painting a house of some sort. Um, or taking some sort of project on. Or a lot of DIY. But Chariot is talking about going one way and that's up. So don't forget people who did help you or supported you on this uh, journey up. Either this is career or your life in general as well. Now, let's have a look. What else is this about? Aries. What else this change is going to bring you? Wow. King of Wands. It does feel like, look at this person's face. It's proper smiling and happy, joyous. Uh, I feel like you are in, you are going to be in your own element. Um, King of Wands is passionate about what they do. They're knowledgeable, even though they're maybe learning new things, what's happening. But... This is definitely a card of being in the right element. Calling the right shots. Okay. Okay. Communication. Again, this is a card of travel. Aries, where are you going? Where are you going? Okay. And communication. And as I said at the beginning of this reading, um, the week starts with the new moon cancer. And this new moon is going to definitely bring a lot of cl clarity. Um, the truth. The kind of, kind of vision in ways... What is the way forward? And perhaps some of you are actually going home. Doesn't matter what kind of home. 
well, for some people, home is work or peer group or whatever home you call it or whatever you call a family. You're creating something new here. All right. What kind of, kind of message? What kind of message is there? Okay. Regarding work. Something perhaps you were waiting or were not sure about. What else do you need to know? Two sevens. Three sevens. Mm -hmm. I have to say, certain things were really uncertain. And finally, it's kind of falling in the right place. As if like, finally you are in tune and divine timing is there and it, everything just clicked. You know, in the cubic room, it just finally clicked. Because seven ones felt like you were kind of expecting something, but I kind of waiting and it was kind of like a waiting game. What is this about? I'm going to take another check. What was this about? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that I feel like some of you guys were... Um, either deciding yourself or someone else was, was deciding for you to either be in this position and starting something new because strengths with Leo here. It's, there could be some decision making happening, okay? Whether you are fit for the role, whether uh, something else happening. Now, with Leo, interesting here is this, we are coming, approaching Leo season as well. And it feels like things are really falling into place. And that's how it feels like finally. But strengths, it wasn't easy. You had to put yourself out there. You felt like you were, I wouldn't say struggling as much, but you were really applying yourself. Applying yourself indeed. But look, all things are falling well. All things are falling in the right places. Now, something advice for this week. What you need to know. So, all in all, all is well. The news are coming in. Um, you're feeling very really lucky, like... Again, on a horse, it uh, feels like things are moving well, um, when, especially when the sun comes in the reading. Oh, the rest of the reading, it seems like shimmering with the sun and glitter. Okay, so celebrate your success. Celebrate your changes and improvements. You deserve this. Now, advice, what you need to know for kind of this week. Okay, thank you. Right, I've, I'm seeing here, don't rush things. Take your time to learn the craft, whatever you're doing. I like, perhaps some of you are semi-retiring retiring or retiring and it takes time for you to adjust to the new life. Or you are going in a new place to work or doing something. Just give yourself time to learn something. Learn people, learn what's going on. Okay, don't rush into things. Have a good look around have a great opinion about things or people okay and perhaps it's not the right time to express your opinion yet just keep your eyes wide open ears to the ground uh -huh. lovely now this is going to bring you a lot of joy you are going to enjoy the learning bit the, the carving your path very exciting week very very exciting week indeed right Aries what earth wisdom would like you to know the rest interesting we have the, the the hangman and we have the transformation so there's a change is happening but don't rush into allow that new place or the change in your life allow to absorb you you absorb the change and the change absorb you it's kind of like allow allow to kind of take some time out uh learn absorb educate yourself research whatever it is take your time and it's for a reason it's for a reason what angels would like you to know wow interesting we have children here and here as well it's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life i'm watching over you guiding you and protecting you during these changes look how beautifully the angel is Cuddling this lady, she's pregnant. There's a news, there's something new happening. As if like you are uh, allowing something new grow within you. Either you're growing personally, professionally, it doesn't matter. There's some changes. And it's beautiful because it's kind of like you are either with touch as, as with your inner child 
or you feel like you're a child or there's some sort of new beginnings uh, definitely happening. Perhaps you're working with children as well. That could be really possible as well. But it feels here that uh, you are really enjoying this fresh new uh, chapter that is happening in your life. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a beautiful week. And until then, love and light. And I'll see you in the next reading.